so today we will learn about how we can do incremental dynamic analysis to perform fragility analysis uh, in the previous video fragility curve i showed you how we can make this fragility curve and the basis of that uh, this fragility curve is to perform mostly researchers do incremental dynamic analysis like they select different earthquake and then they perform with any interval 0 0.1 0 0.2 or whatever and they perform idea analysis on that so i also showed you like first of all first step is to select at least four or five earthquake and then you get perform incremental dynamic analysis i didn't tell you last time how we can do i will just i have already conducted the analysis i will just tell you how we can do now I, I will explain you in the e-tabs. So let's see first of all what is actually incremental dynamic analysis. A little brief introduction. It is mostly, it actually looks like this. Because we perform multiple analyses, time history analysis on e-tabs. So it looks like this and we get different ID curves for that. Actually it is a computational method especially used for earthquake uh, to check the building performance under different seismic load so it is a, actually the results are based on the probability of seismic analysis hazard analysis to check the seismic risk uh, given by structure so let's see for example okay this is the 12 story building based on the chinese code you, you can use whatever code you want to use so first of all obviously you will define your uh, sections like okay i want to use use that column that beam and then you define the materials whatever you want for example i'm using c30 and uh, <clears throat> for the steel i'm using hrb 400 steel you can use whatever you want and then also i will tell you what i define for the sections like beam is uniform 650 by 350 and column are changing as the height increases the column size decreases i will show you for example from the story 8 to 12 it will be column hmm. 650 i think yeah 650 by 650 from the story 7 to story 4 it will be column 700 and for the first four stories, it will be 750 by 750. So this, these are the column size. After you define your sections, and uh, also you can define your slab. Uh, that will be 150. So once you define your sections, and uh, also you define your material, then you can define the diaphragm. You will see I have defined already rigid diaphragm because it is a concrete structure semi-rigid when the material is wood or steel you define the, the semi-rigid or flexible diaphragm in that time but for the case of concrete you can surely define rigid diaphragm then you will define time history like here i used uh, 18 different ground motions uh, you can use four at least four five or six maybe so i showed you last time how you can do this first of all you scale those param parameters and then you will get a time history record for the earthquake like this pattern so every earthquake will have a different you can do we download this from the the website and the peer ground motion website and after you define the uh, earthquake then you will define a mass source for the mass source of course uh, you will uh, live load 50 percent reduction and uh, then if you consider here self mass then you don't need to define other any load you can take first three options and then just add live load in it after you define the mass source uh, you can uh, you can define the load patterns so load pattern of dead load live load super dead and for the earthquake in x direction and y direction 
here I selected Chinese code so you can do American European or whatever and then then you will define load cases this is very important part for the incremental dynamic analysis first first one will be model linear and super dead or quick linear static but for this one I told you in this section I just defined uh, the time history and earthquake here that was just one data like whatever the original pda value was but here you select four or five uh, earthquake and then you define uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 for example i selected five earthquake and for each i will select uh, different uh, like i will further define the 0 0.5 int interval for that so it is very easy like uh, the same thing but you just the scale will change for example for the first one it will be 981 9.81 value and, and if i want to the, the rest of things will be same as uh, i showed you in the last non-linear time history analysis actually we are doing time history analysis but with the different intervals uh, this will be same output step time you can see from the file you can download here you select non-linear uh, non -linear model, finite uh, non-linear analysis, time history. And then for the 0 point, for example, this was 981. So then if you want to define the 0 0.2 Morgan Hill, we will check that. Others will be same. For example, this one. So you just, rest thing will be same. You just multiply by 981 by 2. This, this scale factor will be changed and load this this will be same and then if you want to do the check the 0 0.3 one 0 0.3 morgan hill okay 0 0.3 and then this just you just multiply that value with the first first value nine so it's, this is how you will define different with the different intervals and then load cases, uh, we just discuss this one. Load combination, you can default auto load combinations, uh, and default design combination, that is not a matter. And then, yeah, this is all from this th thing. And then you select beams and columns, and then define uh, plastic hinges. You can do in both ways like uh, auto or manual for example here you select beams select this will select all of the beams you can see here and then you go to assign because i have already assigned and conducted the analysis so this will not show you frame element and then you go to <coughs> hinges here hinges and then you define uh, you can refer to the previous video and then after assigning this one uh, you just check your model check model if everything is okay then you say okay set load cases to run you can first of all run the static one and then or you can just select all of the you will see you can see here uh, all of the analysis that you, you can see then you just select all of them and run it it will take some time because everything is uh, non-linear or and then you can here run analysis and then after it will after it it is completed you can see the results first of all maybe undeformed shape undeformed shape maybe you can select any load combination okay so that you can see the building is a deformed shape in a, in a deformed and then you will see okay for example this one So yeah, so these are the actually plastic hinges limit, and uh, then you can check the. Okay, let's see. We want to see hinges response. Please change. Okay, wait. I think you can play with a different thing, and then you can. We want to see the story response. Uh, plots. Mm -hmm. 
here you will see select the different because dead load has not that much effect you, you can see here every against every as you can every interval we have some value so here you will see select maximum minimum so you will select you will get max we wanted to see actually these we wanted to get these displacement or interstory dip against each 0 0.1 0 0.2 so once you have this you will uh, you can maximum interstory dip yeah story dip okay so you will it will give you maximum value from here you can note that value against 0 0.1 and then you can go to 0 0.2 same angle it will increase so this is how you can get each value against each earthquake and then you note down all of the values and then do the same analysis you can refer to the fragility analysis video so yeah and this is how incremental dynamic analysis is done and uh, it's very easy once you scale your uh, earthquake data and design the store model in the building ETFs, you can do that analysis and then you can see different things combined small plot you can see so this is all if you have any question please let me know I'll be happy to help you.